Welcome to this week's video, Equine Colors and Markings. A chestnut or sorrel horse can come in various shades of red with manes and tails that match. Buckskins have tan bodies with a black mane and tail. A bay horse has a reddish body with a black mane and tail and black points, including on the ears and legs. Similar in color to the buckskin, the dun colored horse features a dorsal stripe along the spine, black tips on the ears, and distinctive zebra or tiger bar stripes on the legs. A flea bitten gray features small dark marks throughout its white coat. A dapple gray horse features two toned circles often across the hindquarters and dark gray hair on the legs. Appaloosas have spots. Palominos are blonde. And dark bay or black horses have a rich singular color throughout. Paint horses come in a wide variety of colors and patterns. Now let's move on to leg and face markings. A stripe is a narrow white marking down the length of the horse's face. A blaze is slightly wider. Horses with a bald face have white across the entire face and over at least one eye. Any white marking between the horse's eyes is a star. And one between the nostrils is a snip. Snips can be small or large. Horses can have multiple facial markings, such as this combination of a star and snip. A white marking on the leg that goes just to or above the fetlock is called a sock. Taller white markings that approach the knee and hock are called stockings. Stockings that stretch beyond the joint are predominantly found in paint horses. Black spots at the coronary band on socks or white legs are called ermines. Ermine can sometimes result in striped hooves. The equine world is filled with a beautiful variety of colors and markings. <laughs>